Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Subnautica Below Zero and our first playthrough of the game, playing on survival mode. Well, last time we cleared out almost the uh, big wreck. Uh, there's still one little space where we need a propulsion cannon to clear some rubble before being able to go in there. Then we went back to Phi Research Station and did a whole bunch of things and I gotta say the pengling, the pengling things were, I mean, were a little bit uninteresting. Sure, I did pick up the antibiotics or antidote. What was it called? Antidote. An antidote is actually something we can do ourselves. I don't know when I'm gonna need an antidote, but uh, we can make it if we want to. So that is basically what we had time for last time. The station took a really long time. There's probably more that we can do there. By the way, I wanted you to... Ooh, there's a loud music in here. Uh, I just wanted to show you that I have some more fishies. I did get a symbiote in here, didn't think that I would be able to get that one. And we also have the uh, arrow ray, so this is actually almost full. I can fit one more in here, but I probably want something a little bit more fancy, I think. So we'll see if I can manage that. Uh, I've also done a little bit of a thing. I first of all re-implanted these, because if you whack them with your knife, you can actually get seeds. So you get more. I only had two in each uh, pot. Now I have four, and I also have, you know, stored ones, so <laughs> I have a lot of those if I need them. And one thing that I have done, because first of all, I've learned something that I didn't know about uh, even Subnautica, the first game. You can actually plant yell sacks, which I have done. Uh, yeah, you can whack these with your uh, knife as well. So I have growing yell sacks there, so endless supply of uh, yell sacks. And also some kelps in order to get... Uh, get the uh, fruits from that so that we can get that if we ever need it. So that's uh, that's something that I've learned. I put it over here uh, for really no other reason that I want it close to my uh, space here and these presumably will get some glow off which would be kind of cool I think. So that's uh, basically where we are right now. There are probably more stuff that I would like to plant that I haven't yet, so we shall see about that. So, what are our plans today? Well, the plan is, uh, I believe, going to, to the Alien Distress Call. Uh, because now with the depth module we should be able to get a little bit closer to it, or at least be able to scout around a little bit more. I was unable to find a proper way in. I think last time so we shall see if I can do something about that and um, if not go if we don't find that or if you know finding it and then it's basically nothing more right now we will probably go back to the pilot to Marguerite I have brought my sea glide on this occasion so we might actually do something with that now I could bring some uh, favorite pepper even if they grow old they still get no, never mind. That that's body heat. I was completely thinking the wrong way there. Uh, wasn't there something that gave me oxygen? Why did I think that I got oxygen from something? That was weird. I don't get oxygen from anything. Anyway, let's get head over to. Uh, come on. Uh, let's get over to the alien distress signal call. Oh, by the way, I, I wanted to show you this, by the way, because I completely missed this myself. I did not know that this is what we were supposed to. I was sort of waiting for something to be uh, found by me, but if we go to the modification, no, no, the vehicle bay, never mind. Uh, the modules are actually produced here. We can produce the aquarium module, we can produce the sleeper module. The sleeper module, module we can actually produce. I might do that just for fun. Again, aquarium module not a no-go right now because we don't have any... Uh, we don't have... Ooh, come on. Uh, we don't have any uh, diamonds. So we need diamonds for the enamel glass. Uh, where are we going? We are going over here in this direction. Trying to avoid baddies on the way. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of do want to create the sleeper module, even though it sounds like the most boring of the modules, just a sleeper module. Uh, I would like the other ones, though. Uh, but yeah, I do want more diamonds. I, I was thinking about going back to the Delta Island, or the Delta Station Island, see if I can find more pengling areas somewhere. I don't know exactly where they would be. 
I mean, the, the one that we explored uh, in previous episodes were the only one that I know of, so I don't really know where else on that island we could find it. And um, Five Station Island were kind of a letdown, let's just say. So question, question actually remains, where do we find diamonds? Uh, yeah, I haven't find, found diamonds anywhere other than there, so we kind of need more. Uh, is this just regular sea truck fragment? Yes, it is. I'll just scan it. Uh, gotta say, titanium, not an issue right now. I have all the titanium in the world. And um, still, though, still, though, not a problem just picking up uh, fragments so that I am not. Uh, Rather, so, so that I don't think that I missed something, because that would be a bit stupid. Now, I I am absolutely sure that it's well. I know it's here. It says it right here. But uh, yeah, question is where do you go? But now we can go further down, further down than I have been before with the sea truck, which means that it's time to start looking for. It is right here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to put that in a different color like that color that that sticks out a little bit more so it's down there how far down can or should i get oh th this is actually something this is something or is it no it's not it's just one of those things but it is an alien thing is that uh, alluding me to something? By the way, now that I'm here and see it, I can just pick up some more table corals. We might use it at some time. Uh, this is not something I knew. Ooh, hello. That is a creature egg that I don't think that I've picked up before. Or do I recognize that? Uh, I No, I don't think I do. Also, I do see what is presumably more sea truck, but as I said, I can just uh, scan this. I have been uh, destroying titanium, by the way, because I have so much of it. Uh, so we have you. Are you sort of pointing uh, the way a bit? You might as well. These are the ones that are giving off the message, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I see. I see. <laughs> I think we found the way. Sort of. Yes, and uh, indeed, the uh, sea truck helps. Okay, so uh, yes, we have found this. And that goes on. I mean, is this just for if you come from this direction? Sort of feels like it, yes. Did I miss... I mean, haven't I been at this one? I have, right? No, I have not. I have not been here. Because that is a data box that I have not... Oh, good. I have not opened this data box. Rebreather! Uh, something that I might actually use. I never used it in original Subnautica, but... I do understand that it's actually quite useful in many ways. I am gonna scan this as well by the way. Right, let's get ready for some uh, let's get ready for some story. <laughs> let's get ready for some story. I didn't have any story last time I believe. Well I did pick up some PDAs that I haven't even checked. Maybe I should do that at some point. Okay, well the uh, origin is over here. Again there's like this side side paths almost that I am eager to check out. Oh, yeah, I see, we can go down even further here. Well, that's curious. You see, I've been looking for, like, deep paths. And this is deeper than I can go. And that is a... that is a module. The sea truck fabricator. Yeah, that's what we haven't got. Yeah, see? Two out of three. The fabricator module. I don't know exactly what what can we expect a fabricator module is. But yeah, okay, so we're getting down. Ooh, what, what is that? Ooh, what, whoa, whoa. What is that? Is that just uh, me sh chasing lights here? <laughs> uh, are these broken mandrake? Alright. Something I can 
catch. No, I seem to not be able to do anything with that. So we're finding new stuff here. I don't think so. I think that those are similar creatures to what we have already seen. But this is kind of exciting. Okay, so yeah. There is stuff down here. <laughs> Uh, but good to know, good to know that we can use the uh, distress signal thing to locate this place. Because, uh, yeah, as I said, I've been looking for deeper things, deeper uh, places to go that is not just open, open space, so to speak. Because we obviously have places like that, like a lot of it. <laughs> but okay, cool. Uh, for the future, let's just say, for the future. For now, though, not, not now it's time. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's do what I'm actually here to do. Go to the alien distress signal. So what can we expect to find? Can we, I, I mean, I'm not... Th I'm thinking that we are not going to find anything alive, right? That doesn't seem highly reasonable. Okay, so it's just around the corner here. Big reveal potential. Okay, we got our first... Uh, our first base sort of thing. Well, that's interesting. More eggs. I wonder what which one of the creatures that egg is. Is it the uh, the thing that we just saw down there, by the way? It could be that one. Okay. We have our first base. And it feels like I should have brought maybe some... Oh. Hello? Is someone there? Hinderman Rose speaking. We're running out of room. Hinderman Rose is the one who That's curious. We have... Ooh, you're back. I don't like you, alien robots. Sort of guardian-ish. I mean, they're, these are weird because they're not guardians, really. Uh, low threat level is a dog with advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructures. Okay, so fine. They aren't... Uh, here to damage me, but they can if they want to, I guess. Uh, but okay, we have some sort of uh, system here that is actually even I answering me. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not need storage. True. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? <laughs> no, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. It will have to do. Hmm, okay. Bit unsure exactly what it is that's going on, to be honest, but, uh... I am guessing... We will find out. I don't want to be a host, by the way. You don't have to uh, go into me, right? My PDA? Sure. Take it over if you want to. But me? Stay, keep me out of it. <laughs> and yeah, more ion cubes. That is good, because I want to use some of these. But since I've only picked up two so far, I have been a little bit cautious about cr doing anything with them. Because there is something I haven't shown you that I've unlocked at some point. Probably when I picked up the ion cube. Uh, I can construct what is called a quantum locker. Source solution which shares content with all other quantum lockers. Now isn't that just fun? That means that you can build one of those, ooh, and then you can build another base so you can have a locker that shares space. That is kind of cool. In, um, kind of the best way I think I've ever seen this sort of functionality presented in a game. I mean, generally it's just a chest. Right? It's, it's just a chest that you can use everywhere. Like, think, uh, think Fallout 76, exactly. for example. You have your... Yeah, every chest is just there. It just works. And it works even with other... I mean, yeah, you, you get the drift. So I do like this a little bit better, gotta How say. have you been stored here? Longer than hope. Warning. Sanction power. Critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is complete. Well, okay. Yes. Okay, hurry. Right, sanctuary is apparently what this is supposed to be. But yeah, we do recognize the 
the layout, the architecture here. Okay, let's see what actually happens. Are we gonna are we gonna get a friend, an alien Storage sort of friend? Brace. Yeah. Okay, so we're, so now we're held down. That's not good. So, yeah, I'm the storage medium. My PDA is not the storage medium. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA! Get out! Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. <laughs> Hello? Went very silent on me. This isn't happening. This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Well, so we got a uh, we got something in our heads now. Well, that's just beautiful. Architect containment cube. Some sort of uh, some sort of storage thing, obviously. Facility containment cube appears to be a compromised of redundant array of quantum holographic storage layers, supporting a hyper dense capacity of thirty five bits per electron. I don't know if that's a lot or not, but I would assume it is. Uh, once the source of consciousness has been transferred out of the cube, the component parts will become inert. Without witnessing and carefully observing the backup process, it is difficult to ascertain how the transfer works. Uh, whether or not the process is truly lossless. Okay, well... Sure. I guess that this is... I mean, yeah, it's given us something. Exactly what, I don't know. Uh, so I would assume that this is now something that's going to push me forward, but exactly why? I mean, what's the purpose of uh, the architects, as we're calling them? What's the purpose of them in this game? Uh, we sort of know what their purpose was in the previous game, or, well, maybe not their purpose, but uh, the uh, historicity, historicity of their purpose, so to speak, which was to uh, contain the planet. But now we're uh, now we're picking up a distress signal call for someone who uh, would have been lost had we not been here, so to speak, because the facility was losing power. Okay, fascinating, fascinating Morning. indeed. Passing two hundred meters. Right. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Well, that that was a fast thing, and uh, we haven't been giving anything else. So I think that I would like to go back to. Uh, Marguerite. However, I unlocked the. Uh, I did unlock the the the, the rebreather, and I can make it. And that might be a good thing because where we're going, we are actually going to be going deeper. But these still. Well, these are these are solid now, so to speak. They are not giving out a signal anymore. <coughs> a lot of those eggs, by the way. A lot of those eggs. Uh, let's uh, make our way out. Am I not going to find my way out now? I think I am. Here we are. So, 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 so. Uh, 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 still. What was I thinking? Right. We still haven't found that uh, plant, whatever plant it is, the spirals thingy thing about you. The thing that's gonna let us get to uh, Mark II depth module. I would like the Mark II depth module, by the way. Just FYI. I'm gonna pick up some of these because we are gonna need some of those in the future. Oh! Oh! Are they calling me, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we understand that the arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual, distinct. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seed code to my species designation. 
Please call me out. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient space-fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No, it's <laughs> fine. Perfect. Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls us architects. The precursor race. But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. I have been disconnected from my network for so long I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. Uh, I will help you. Help you help me, so to speak. Um, indeed, Arctic Storage Media. Bunch of stuff you can read if you want to. <laughs> We're not going to read it right now. Um, we are going to help you. That is absolutely true at some point. However, I would, I think, like to create the rebreather on this occasion. That is a standard module. I'm not going to pick that up right now. Or rather, scan. Uh, yeah, I do believe that the, not, not that one, but the other uh, fish that we saw, the sort of uh, arrowy thing, uh, I think that is the egg that I have found, because they, I mean, slight, slight resemblance. By the way, how much, uh, I don't really have that much space left, but there are, ooh, there are, there are good stuff here. Because I can get some more copper if I'm a bit lucky. And copper is always nice, but we are getting a lot of... Yeah, th there we go. That's the one. Yeah, it's absolutely that one. I can see it on the coloration of it. Uh, let's get you. Lead is also fine. But yeah, we're getting a lot of titanium. <laughs> a bit too much, to be honest, but that's fine. Oop, that is not what I wanted. Uh, right, uh, I'm going to go back to base and we're going to create the rebreather. And then I'm actually going to go back to uh, Marguerite and see if I can actually make my way slightly closer to her. Back at base, and Welcome it's time to, to store away what I can store away. See, I filled all of that up. Um, okay, I have quite a lot of copper right now, which is, you know, just beautiful. And, uh, ooh, did I... These should actually be here, by the way. Why have I not stored them there? Because they are special, like they are electronics. They have... Uh, 300,000 charge, which is, <laughs> I don't know if that's how good or bad that is, but it's uh, certainly a lot. Uh, now, you, Antidote, you're not supposed to be in here, you're supposed to be in, I believe personal is where I want you to be. I think I had you in personal and then I moved you out of there. Yeah, we didn't have that one. Cool, I do have some beacons because I might want to use that when we get to Marguerite. And uh, as for the titanium, because for the rebreather we didn't need titanium, right? No, we did not. So let's just uh, destroy some titanium. Cool. So, uh, rebreather. Wiring kit, fiber mesh, silicone, rubber. We have that. And then we just need uh, you. I actually kind of would like some more gold. I don't have that much gold. But on the other hand, you never really need a lot of gold. You just need... A fair amount of gold <laughs> or something. Uh, yes, rebreather. Uh, because here's the thing the rebreather facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths. Breathe the freedom. Ooh, breathe the freedom. Uh, yeah, I don't have a. A thing for my head yet. You get that very early in the previous game, and in this game, I don't have anything. So yeah, the rebreather is obviously the optimum choice here. Right. Uh, let's get some food stuff going here. Oop, not you, apparently. Uh, get this. There we go. We're all used up and ready to go. I actually don't need two neutral blocks. That seems a bit excessive. Right, uh, let's try and make our way to Marguerite and see uh, see if we can uh, get closer to her and also see if I can actually find the location of the <laughs> light sticks. I, kinda, I, I think I remember vaguely where to go, so we shouldn't be in too much of a problem here. 
And also be on the lookout for stuff that I potentially need. Uh, again, that spiral, sp the spiral thing, I still don't know what, what it's called. Or remember what it's called. It's called uh, da -da -da -da, Spiral Plant. Spiral Plant. Uh, this is something. Probably the sleeper one, the one that I already have. No, it actually, oh, the aquarium, but I can already, already make the aquarium as well. Well, again, can't, but want to. Uh, anything that looks vaguely spirally, but it also looks, uh, it also looks very red. So these, these don't match. Anything red and spirally is what I would like. Anything red and spirally. I mean, these... Could these be it? I mean, this looks vaguely spirally. I mean, again, not red. Not red at all. No, we, we're not getting anything from that. Um, we we don't get anything from that either. Okay. So, uh, ooh, hello, hello, hello. And the position was here. Then I followed this, didn't I? I hear ya. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I think that is what it did, right? I followed this to this thing right here. Right. Uh, no, those are not light sticks. They're not. You came within range oh. of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue to investigate. Oh, Marguerite. Ah, is that where we're is, is that where we're going with this? Is Marguerite going to be the new storage mirror? Oh, man, I'm really far down already. Uh, so which direction was I going? Yeah, this is why I should have brought a beacon last time I was here. <laughs> but I didn't. Uh, I need to find those light sticks. Because yeah, that, this is the thing. I can go way further down. And the question is, is she down there? Because if she is, we have a problem, because I can't go that far down. Because I need whatever a spiral spiral thing is. And it apparently isn't this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It apparently isn't these. Right. No spiral thingy clipping whatever from any of this. So the question question is: Does the game expect me to? Uh, um, ooh, where where was the? I don't remember what direction I went before. This feels wrong, though. Or does it? But yeah, the question is: Does the game expect me to uh, try and go? far down without the sea truck to get the clippings and then it's like yeah good job now you can do it properly <laughs> is that what the game expects of me i don't know because i haven't i haven't seen anything oh come on get up uh come on get up further uh i haven't seen anything even remotely resembling what could be a why am i come on here we go. Why am I angled so far down? <laughs> Rather, why am I not going up? I'm pressing the correct button to go up at the same time. Um, man, why didn't I bring a beacon before? Crap. <laughs> uh, we have to... Oh, crap, 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 crap. It's about time to start repairing a little bit. Because this is getting a bit dangerous. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's go above this on this occasion. Still looking for those... Uh, still looking for those light sticks. Where is the... Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch these out now. So where is that? Check on the minimap. Well, not on the minimap, on the side. Yeah, that, that is over there. Felt really easy from... Okay, you know what? We're gonna go down where... But it wasn't where the actual position was. 
It wasn't, because I moved away from there. But maybe I can get to where I wanted to be from this position. Because yes, the position is here. And we have the alien stuff going off in sort of these directions over here. So I think it was down here. So what if we just go down here and look for light sticks? This is basically straight beneath it, yes. Let's be... let's take it a bit slow here. <laughs> Feels like I might be going a bit too fast. Which is why I'm missing stuff. And, ooh, that's... that's interesting. That is interesting. So that seems like, yes, prawn suit grappling stuff. Look, a grappling arm fragment. Not the most fun, but you know, something. The drill arm is obviously the most interesting one. Okay. Is this the direction? It doesn't feel like this was the direction. No, I'm gonna go the other way. Oops. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna repair this. Because this is... Uh, this is <laughs> I'm bumping it a bit too much. I'm sorry, c -Track. It's not. It's not my intention. There we go. Get back in. Try and avoid bumping into things unnecessarily. Uh, let's follow this. I say it, that I shouldn't be bumping into it stuff, and I immediately bump into things, and then it gets stuck, and it's all very, very problematic. Um, okay, let's follow here. What is that? That is ultra capacity. That is something that I already have. I believe. No, it isn't. No, never mind. It is not. Ooh. Sea monkeys, you are very helpful today. Finding good stuff in your places. Uh, is this. No, this is again not something that I really recognize. Man, why didn't I have a beacon? My life would have been so much easier if I had a beacon before. Because now it almost feels like I'm back where I just came from. Before I went up again. Doesn't it? How difficult can it be to find a light stick? I mean, these are these are screwing me. Sc screwing with me a bit. Because yeah, I look at that and it's like, ooh, light. And then, no, the terrain pops into existence and then I see that no, that is absolutely not what that is. And I absolutely wasn't... I, that's the thing, I wasn't far down. That is the thing, maybe I am thinking about this the wrong way, because I was not far down in the beginning of finding the light sticks. Right? Isn't that correct? That I wasn't that high up. Because I'm like super far away immediately. And, oh, <laughs> you could not go through those. Noted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Might be that I just have to look around a bit by myself. Uh, oh. Do you have some sort of... Well, that's annoying. You screwed over my... Oh, that's... That is weird. I did not know that you had those powers. Um, position is over there. Yes. Come on, you don't have to do that. Uh, actually, you know what? What we can do is we can remove this one. We don't need that right now. Okay, so it's so weird because this is okay. So let's just think about this. We get here. Last no position. We go down just a bit. Shouldn't I potentially find a light stick right here? Just vague, but that, that is the thing. I no, I rem I remember distinctly what I did, which is that I was looking for this. And at first, I followed, I think, this one, and it like didn't really lead to anything. It just led to whatever this is. Or did I actually go the wrong way? Maybe I went the wrong way. 
Because it sort of feels more similar to what I was looking for before. You know what, maybe I just went the wrong way. Because this absolutely feels like where I am supposed to be. Doesn't it? Yes, this feels more... More like where I was going before. Oh, that's way bright. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that, 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 that's that thing. I've scanned that. I think I'm... I'm not in the right place right now. No, I'm not in the right place right now. Let's go the other way. But yes, this seems uh, this seems more familiar. I think. Yes, 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 yes. Finally. <laughs> now, uh, now, now, now. There wasn't any more glow sticks over here, was there? No, I think that this was the first one that I sort of spotted. So, I am going to place a marker right here, because uh, we don't know if I'm going to be able to... Uh, if I'm going to be able to uh, get to her today. So... Uh, Marguerite... Uh, light stick. That's a good notice. Hello, little sea monkey dude. That was... You sounded oddly human. Oh, that was weird. Um, beacon, 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 where we, there we are. You're supposed to be green. You sounded oddly human, and I don't like that. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's not talk about sea monkeys. Oh, the gift of the sea the monkey. Sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. Ooh, show them uh, diamonds. Maybe they find diamonds for you. Uh, right, we have the light stick over there. So we're following the light stick. I am, by the way, going to pick up some more rubies. Because uh, we are most likely going to need perhaps a few more rubies going forward. Uh, yeah, I think we're swiftly getting to the place where I didn't want to go forward. Because, you know, too deep. Which is basically here. Yes, I am exactly. This is the place. Uh, right. So you have a glow stick here, a light stick here. So light stick here, a light stick here, but also light stick all the way down there. And that's where I would presumably want to go. Uh, let me pick up some more ruby though. Don't need gel sacks, because as I just mentioned, I have an infinite amount of gel sacks available to me. Uh, so we don't need to go here, I think. There is a... There's a light stick here, though. Okay. Maybe I should have uh, done this before, by the way. Maybe I should have looked through for more light sticks. So light stick over there. And uh, where was I? Was that the one that I was planning on going for? I think so. Didn't I stop at a light stick? Oh, hello. That is what? Exosuit Thermal Reactor Module Fragment. Already have that, apparently. Uh, right, light stick here. There's also a light stick over here. Uh, did you connect to another? No, th 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 that, that is that light stick. <laughs> yes. Um... Must there a light stick uh, over here somewhere? No. Right, so we are sort of going towards that one that's a bit lower. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Warning. Oops, 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 oops. It's time. Uh, I'm gonna actually put you over here instead. And also, might want to do the map. Okay, so this... Oh, well, okay, fine. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> Marguerite. Ooh, is, the, is this a new module for me? It is. Large room glass dome. Well, okay, 
God damn it. Now we need to redo my base. That's not fair game. And we have the moon pool. I hope that we'll be getting the moon pool. You're gonna give me everything, Marguerite. We have a customized prawn suit. He definitely customized that one. Marguerite's prawn suit. Ooh, that's a mean looking bastard. Right. Hello. Did I? I thought I saw something else there. Uh, do you? Oh, you don't have the. Uh, you don't have the modification thing though. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, more story. <laughs> more story incoming. And we have to open this. Is she gonna be right behind the door? Nope, yeah, she. Oh, crap. Oh, she has a friendly. A friendly uh, snow prowler. I told you to stay off my land. This is so weird. Did you that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. Uh -huh. Some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Well, that's kind of cute, though. <laughs> that she has one of those. Oh, it's looking at me. And quite effectively blocking that door. Isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. It's blocking the door so that I can't get to her. It's so weird to see a character in, in Subnautica, because we didn't get that in the uh, in the first game. Oh, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Uh, ooh, fancy stuff. Can we get the, these? Uh, the hanging pots? Oop. Can we get these? Oh, Nothing else we can really get from around the place, but that is indeed a... Uh, that is a Reaper Leviathan, I believe. Maybe the one that she killed. So what do we get from you? We get a test override module fragment. Okay. No, that's a blueprint. Okay. Test module where we... I'm sorry. <laughs> it's gonna be over here. Test override module fragment. That is what we need the parallel processing unit for. And uh, if I'm not mistaken... Mistaken. No, that is actually a permitted fence upgrade. Well, thank you. Uh, we also get a snow fox frag. Maybe we don't need that. Okay. Well, PDA. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I you know what? That's number two. I don't want to read them in, or rather hear them. Maybe I should say in the wrong direction. I want to hear them in the correct direction. Uh, where can we find number one? Should I have found? Ooh, you have a. Uh, you have one of these, and I, for some reason, can't pick it up. That's interesting. All right, so we have sort of a um, a thing to do with that. We need a test over our module for the Delta Station Communications Tower. That is why I couldn't get it to work before. But in order to do that, we need a parallel processing unit, and I've only got two of those so far. From one from each of the wrecks. Now, does that mean that I can expect to find more wrecks? Uh, it's not entirely impossible, you know. Uh, we haven't really scanned around that area all that much since I got the depth module. So not impossible. But yeah, I'm just trying to see if they're... I, I like her <laughs> caught here. Made from the bones of the uh, reaper that she slayed. Slain? Slayed? Slayed? Slain? I don't know. Can I just jump into this? Is, is this for me? Apparently not. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. So we do have our. Uh, no. Sometimes I don't need want to be at the surface. Apparently. Uh, yeah. We have our goal. I believe. Uh, sea truck is in that direction. Do we have anything else here? Could you be the source for the spiral plant thing? That looks not exactly like what I want. 
Right. This is not what I want. Apparently. Uh, can I just uh, have this on five then for now? No, these are not anything I want. Okay, well let's uh, let's keep looking, but no, it doesn't really seem to be anything resembling what I want. Uh, as far as I can see. Okay, well... Sad, because uh, I was sort of hoping that, yeah, sh uh, this would unlock something else. Uh, there are some stuff around here, though. You can see that. She has some stuff over here. Uh, this is new. Reaper's Wine Glass. Can I get you? I cannot. <laughs> uh, we have you. What are you? Still suit. Okay. Uh, another pangling fragment. Let's just get that. Ooh. You apparently don't need you in this game. That is okay. Right. Uh, let's just get up and get our health back. Well, not our health, but our oxygen. Well, actually, we can just... No, actually, get, get back from here. Okay, so we're apparently not above the uh, water right now. What is my character's issue with <laughs> the surface sometimes? I don't know. Uh, whoop. Get down again. Oh, bonk. Uh, sea truck is in that direction. Right. It does seem as if this is sort of it for this place. Well, there's something over here. There's something over here. Like a small, a small cave system. That might be going downwards but yeah I don't see anything that really is interesting to me unless that's diamond but I don't think that that's diamond though no. with the rebreather and the uh, and the sea glad I'm actually getting quite far down I also get prawn suit propulsion fragment down here I really want that uh, I really want that uh, spiral thing. Well, this is a cool biome, by the way. Ooh, I like this. This is very sexy. There are probably stuff down here. Uh, you know what? This is uh, not really where we're where we are right now, is it? I don't think so. I don't think that this is where we want to be right now. So well, that's actually. What do I do now? Maybe I do need to have a bit of a look around the area with the other wrecks and see if I can find another wreck. Maybe I should produce the propulsion cannon. Maybe that is the next step because I have unlocked the propulsion cannon, haven't I? Warning: 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Thank you for that. We are fine. Don't you worry. Haven't I done the propulsion cannon? Or rather, don't I have that? Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, I am not. I am, I have actually only got one fragment I for the propulsion cannon. The of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Well, thank you. Signal location uploaded Ooh. to PDA. Well, you know what, let's just go check that out. Oh, by the way, shouldn't I... I should do this. I should do this. Now that I think about it. Uh, we will mark out her base. <laughs> should have thought about that, but okay. Uh, by the way, yeah. I want to I wanna build out my base now. <laughs> and I probably have put it in a bad spot, sadly. Uh, I was afraid that I might have done that. Uh, more... Greets base. Uh, that is going to be fine. And with that, I th think I want to pick up the other beacon. Will I be able to get that it's there by just virtue of just having it there? Because you know, while it's there, I kind of need the entry point. Uh, so we are going to pick up this one. 
and I'm gonna place this one sort of a, sort of the same way as I did in the previous series, uh, where I place it sort of clo as close as I can to wherever it is that you come down the fastest. So we have the base over here. Let's move back a bit. Uh, so yeah, but you have to go in here. In order to get to this, we need to come down. And we there is no way down here. No, there is no way down here. That is something for me potentially. Yeah, ultra capacity tank. There we go. Sea monkeys, you are proving useful. Um, Seek fluid intake. Yes, yes, I know we're going to. You know what? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, this is where that uh, beacon is gonna go. Uh, and we're gonna call it Entry to Marguerite Space. There we go. And let's also mark them in the proper color, which is green. No, actually, it isn't. It's gonna be the orangey one. That's gonna be orangey one. The dark one is for me. Uh, that means that we can actually turn that off. We can also go back to being blue if I ever have to turn it on. So I am going to go, obviously, for that thing. Because that seems to be in a easy to locate spot. Uh, but yeah, we have Wreck 1 here. We have uh, Wreck 2 here. And now we are actually going in... A place that I that I probably would be uh, exploring a bit. And the way I am lacking fluids, let's just uh, oh, oh crap. <laughs> Vital signs stabilizing. I know, good right. Uh, my base is here, so we're actually gonna go past my base, which means that I drank water completely unnecessarily because I could have just stopped by the base. Uh, but yeah, if I if I'm going to build those uh, those things, by the way, I have a, another fragment here that I hadn't that's just a regular sea truck fragment um the issue now is that i don't really have the space to build those things right not really well actually you know what maybe i do maybe i do but i am a bit unsure well maybe i can get in here sort of i mean it doesn't have to be on uh on a uh Platform, so I could probably do the uh, uh, did he, did he, what was it called? Large uh, glass thing. <laughs> what was it called? Uh, large room glass dome. Maybe I could build it right here because it's felt was it smaller than this? I think it was smaller than this one. Uh, anyway, uh, before we finish this, you know what? No, we're, we're actually going to finish this episode off right here. We're going to finish this episode off right here, and we're going to continue. With, uh, in the next episode to go for that one first thing in the morning I was about to say and after that if that is not a wreck which means that yeah uh, I might actually want to pick up uh, a beacon or two uh, we might have to go wreck hunting because I can't get to the uh, I can't get to the location with the wreck uh, within the wreck Ooh, right I have the perimeter defense upgrade by the way uh, remember that and uh, ooh, mm, lots of thoughts right now, but uh, yeah, we're gonna pick this up in the next episode. And uh, architect artifact X3J, hmm, interesting. And we'll see what I do about the base because yeah, if we if we just take a quick look, if I want to build a foundation here, I cannot because that clips into the wall. If I want to build a large room, oh, uh, what? Why is this looking like this? Why is this looking like this? Can't I build it here? Oh, never mind. Ah, I understand now. It's not a, a it's not a room. It's not a room. You build it on. Ah, okay. I see. I see, and I might actually want to do that, which is a bit annoying because I have to break this down then. <laughs> I see, it wasn't a room, it was just a dome for the large room. 
Fair enough, but we do have the moon pool, so we're gonna build that. And I sort of already know it's gonna it's gonna go here, which means that I'm going to have to move all of these things somewhere else, probably inside the moon pool, like I did before, because I kind of like that. Uh, we will see about that in the next episode. For now, though, this has been Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.